Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to the Cliff Edge Hotel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is come over here and talk you to ain't Brooks. On. You ain't long for this world. Buy my guns Food. now. Stimpak. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. But keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless. Looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. You let him run off alone? What the hell was I supposed to do? I'm on my own here. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth. Especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. We're gonna go fix the fog condensers and find this synth. Come around here. And then we're gonna head up southwest. Go ahead and pull out our weapon. There's going to be a couple of Meyer Lurks up here. Nothing we can't handle. We're going to make a right just here by this house. Someone's coming. Looks like Howard didn't make it. I'll have to repair the fog condensers myself. Let's grab the fog condenser components. And then we'll loot him. Come over here, fix our first fog condenser. And then we're going to head south down this road. Another fog condenser right here that we need to repair. And then we'll have one more just over here where the water purifiers are. We'll go turn that into Avery here in just a moment. First, we're going to face east right here. We look back right there. There's the fog condenser. We're going to face this way and head straight down here. Nick is probably fighting a Meyer Lurk over there. Not really that worried about it. He can handle it. Right over here is a blood trail we can examine. We can come around to the side and just follow the blood. You can put the quest marker on and each time you find a blood spot, it'll update the marker. I already know where all this stuff is, so I'm not bothering with the quest markers. Come down over here. And then we'll talk to the trapper in here. Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's Meyer Lurk or man. 
I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. Yeah. We found him. One of the fox creatures already attacked him. He was bleeding out, but... You know, why waste the meat? Here. Well, what's left? Take it. <laughs> now go. Don't come back. He's gonna give us Chase's head. Not Chase's head, I'm sorry. Uh, I forget what the... Um, sense name was. We're gonna bring the head to Chase. Alright, we're gonna head north down this road. Also, you can loot all this stuff if you want. There's a bunch of houses over here. A lot of people out here could use a hand. There's a red rocket over here you can loot. There's a bunch of goodies over here. I'm going to loot it off recording as usual. We're just going to keep following this road down. There's the Beaver Creek Lanes. We went in there in the last video. And in the last video, I called uh, Flora Fauna. I meant Flora, not Fauna, whenever I picked up those mushrooms. Let's go talk to Avery real quick, and then we'll head to the Cliff Edge Hotel. Shop's got everything you need. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? He didn't make it. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Thanks. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Nick, get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way, Nick. Jeez. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. Let's go ahead and put a level in real quick. We got a level. I would put it into endurance, but I think we're going to put one into medic. And then we'll put another one into endurance after we get our next level. gonna head west like we're heading towards Acadia Again, more places to loot if you want to. Totally up to you. We're going to hang a left here. Go up this road. Follow it around and then we will meet up with Pearl. That was the robot we met earlier in Far Harbor. Ooh. 
It's probably best Maxwell hasn't seen the state of the hotel. He would be devastated. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit, um, rowdy. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit handsy, shall we say. The registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel, though, and do not associate with this sort of rabble. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. This way. We're gonna have some ghouls to fight. Nothing crazy. Come on, Pearl. Let's move it along. She's kind of buggy. Well, I wouldn't say buggy. She just gets caught up on a lot of stuff and she's pretty slow. So just be mindful of that. Gonna be a ton of ghouls over here. Get ready. One up top there. Bastard charred ghoul. Not doing that much good at this point. Be careful of the bear traps on the floor, by the way. Should have pointed that out. Oh, wow. Pearl, come on. <laughs> Don't be doing that. Let's go. Go up the stairs. This is the hardest part is getting her to move. Dude, a ton of legendaries today, huh? I think that's my fourth legendary. We're almost through this. There's not much further. Sorry, Pearl, I'm beating you up. Where's Nick at? What is he fighting? Really, Nick? Quit screwing around. Hmm. <laughs> 
Good lordy with the legendaries. Seriously. Shouldn't be any enemies over here, but I am going to turn off the jukebox. This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. So my advice to everybody is do a hard save right here because going into this vault can be a bit buggy. So do a hard save here, and then maybe whenever you're getting ready to exit the vault, do a quick save. The only reason I say that is because every now and then the elevator will not load in the next area, and you'll just sit here loading forever. Fortunately, Pearl didn't come down here with us. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Well, well. This place just got a little Greetings. more interesting. Welcome to Vault 118. Yes, I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. Now, if Pearl doesn't bug out on you and actually comes down the elevator, sometimes you have to, like, push her into the elevator and have her come down. If she comes down here, she'll have some dialogue here, and she will become a merchant or a shopkeeper that you can buy a legendary hat from her. Well, it's about time the police sent someone out to investigate. We have many important residents and they're very worried. I'm here now. We'll get to the bottom of this. I cannot tell you what a relief it is, Detective. I've learned the moods of our patrons well enough to tell you the tensions are high. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. Sounds that like the trouble. crime scene again. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. Let's go ahead and turn the quest marker on. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see it? The glory of the thing. Wow. The artistry. The what the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me? Ezra, you have outdone yourself. Oh, this is your finest work. There is more emotion in his death than the most people of people of the Commonwealth slept sound. But the greatest Mr. monster no was respect. gone. It took a lot of guts to do what you did. I know it couldn't have been easy. If I may, if I could just you, have your attention. You're sick. I'm sorry for shouting. But the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Protect and serve. So let's uh, investigate some of the stuff here. First, we're going to investigate the blood. Is this blood? And then the brain containment. 
Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. And then we'll follow this trail of blood, blood over to the baseball bat, the fence buster. Bingo. A baseball bat? <laughs> what is this doing here? Then we'll examine the paint cam. Red paint? Now let's go talk to Maxwell again. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. We're gonna come over here, to the left. Why'd you do it, huh? He deserved better than that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You gonna tell me that's nothing? It wasn't like that. We were... friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two is all. I couldn't stand by like some pasty-faced Percy while he put the moves on my best girl. But now the law is on our tail. What are we going to do? Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can be in Buenos Aires by tomorrow. Oh, I want to believe you, I do. But they'll never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no. The line is... Then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Now we're going to come over here, take a left. We're going to go inside this room. I like to pick up the pirate hat. Nothing really special about it. I just like it. And then we're going to come over here and grab the Volt 118 Overseer's Keys. Yes. Come over here. Go talk to Santiago. I may have to do a whole series on these. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the long arm of the law. Tell me, are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Art is life. <laughs> Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or 
Natal, I suppose. Then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. And what about this one? And please be honest, for art without honesty is just politics. This is bullshit. You're talking out your ass and wasting my time. Got it in one. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, hmm? My fellow connoisseur of the art, here to see my latest work. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time, and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. I found red paint at the crime scene. Know anything about that? No, actually. Ezra borrowed my last gun, and now I can't find it. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, Detective. The others do not like to think about it, but... Even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this joie de vivre within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously, who lives so... In the moment, I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that brute actor. Never mind. Nick's still getting in the way. We will go over there later. First, we're going to go talk to Gilda. Turn off this jukebox. Well, now, if it isn't the brave detective. You think anyone actually I haven't felt seen like someone they were with a body like that here? in far, yeah, far yeah. too long. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. 
Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? So the reason I'm flirting with her is because if you actually sleep with her, <laughs> which is really silly, uh, it'll make it easier for you to question her. So let's go ahead and go on a date with Gilda. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, sounds good, detective. That was great, detective, but we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, tiger. Hey there, tiger. Here for more stories about my acting career or something else? Can you answer some questions? Sure, darling. What did you need? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question, it was fever pitch, detective. She had apparently gone to the overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Well a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. I mean, he's always been a bit obsessive, though. He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds, said I was his muse. It was flattering for a while, but the man is a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. Any thoughts on how it got there? I don't know, detective. I can't really imagine Keith killing Ezra. Did you need something else? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing! Gotta stay sharp before going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. All right, now what we can do is head over here to this way. Sorry, got turned around there for a second. I forgot that it brought us to Gilda and Keith's room. We're going to hang it right here. Must have cost a fortune to build a place Mr. like Whiskers. this. Who's a pretty kitty? Uh, Juliana, uh, Mr. Whiskers died last uh, night. I think they're going to have to forfeit trophy. their deposit. Uh, remember? Oh, of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix, and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No. No, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another cold. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh, God, Juliana. Have fun, Whatever. there. 
I'm going to the lab. Hello again. Did you need something? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, Detective? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Let's go investigate the overseer's office. We're going to hang a left and go straight down. Hang a right. Go up the stairs. You can see the murder scene over there. Or the crime scene, whatever you want to call it. Open the vault door. And then we're going to go into the terminal. And we're going to eject the hollow tape vault 118 overseer's log. Let's go into our miscellaneous. Go all the way down till we get to the V's. And we're going to listen to the log. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pane in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. That he was... Now we can come back over here to Julianne's room. We're going to talk to Julianne again. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, 
and you can tell them I escaped. Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich or die? Defending some outdated ideals. Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. Well, how is this going to go down? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. Did good. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Let's go let Maxwell know what happened. Protect and serve. Protect I found serve. the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. So what I would do when exiting the vault is once we get to the elevator, I'm going to do a quick save just in case the elevator bugs out and doesn't want to load in the area. And then I'll be able to quick load that save. I suggest everybody else doing it. You don't have to. Better to be safe than sorry. Try to take the elevator again. Did not work that first time. So it did bug out for me and I had to reload it. But that's why I do a quick save there. Go ahead and activate Going this down. elevator. Basement. Basement. It's not really Going taking down. us to the basement. Ground floor. This is the main entrance that we came into earlier. Just gonna exit out of here and head back down the road. We're gonna pick up a magazine. And head over to Dalton Farm. And after Dalton Farm, we're going to end the video. We're going to follow this road northwest. Till we get to this road, follow this road down. What's left of it, that is. We're going to be coming back over here eventually for a side quest. Pick up that frag mine. I just want to scoop up a magazine real quick over here. Hell yeah. Get an Islander's Almanac 
that's going to give us sludge, sludge, not sludge, sludge based recipes at chemistry stations. So if that's something that you want to make, feel free. We're going to head back down this very dilapidated road. Once we get to the main road, hang a left. We're going to go north again. Over here, some Vim power armor, some T-51, looks really cool. I'll pick it up later, but if everybody wants to pick it up now, feel free. Let's keep traveling down this road. couple super mutants nothing we can't handle and then right over here is gonna be Dalton farm or Dalton's farm I don't know if it's Dalton's plural or just Dalton farm but I know it's right here we have a big old fog crawler over here. Be really careful. This thing can kill you very easily. It's pretty tough. Try to cripple it if you can. shoot it in the face a bunch of times that helps too can turn this into a settlement if you want matter of fact right over here is the workbench I'm not gonna bother with that because I am not trying to take on even more settlements I have plenty of them to deal with at the moment so I will leave that to everybody else decision on if they want to make this a settlement all right, now that that's all been said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning. A good afternoon or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.